Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Craig, also known as the Deployment Guy, here to guide you through the world of Microsoft Intune. Today's video is a follow-on from a recent video I did where I showed you how to configure control panel visibility. In some environments such as schools, factory floors, or anywhere else where a device is shared, you may want that extra level of control of your device and to completely block access to settings and control panel. In this video I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's jump right in. So the first thing I'm going to do is open Edge. I'm going to go to Microsoft Intune Admin Center. Then we're going to select Devices. Windows. And then Configuration Profiles. Next we're going to select Create, New Policy. Platform is going to be Windows 10 and later. The profile type is Settings Catalog. Select Create. Give it a meaningful name, such as Windows Block Control Panel Students. Select Next on that. On the Settings Picker, select Add Settings. At the top in the search bar, type in control panel and hit search. Now under admin templates control panel, select that and expand it. And we're going to select prohibit access to control panel and PC settings user. So I'll tick that. Turn that on. Select next. Ignore scope tags. And under assignments, we're going to add this to a group of students so users students select that and then select select next then create give that a refresh and that policy is now created and ready so i've given intune a bit of time to do what it needs to do in the background uh, but if we log in on a test machine as james trafford who's a member of that student group just type his password in, hit enter, give it a few moments. Now in the search bar, if we type in control panel, we should get an error message. There we are. This operation has been cancelled due to restrictions in effect on this computer. Again, if we try and go into settings, we don't get an error message, but it just doesn't launch full stop. And there we have it, it's literally as simple as that. If you found this video useful, please do like and subscribe to the channel. Doing so really helps the channel grow and enables me to continue making videos just like this. Until the next video, this has been the Deployment Guy. Thanks for watching.